Parsnips are botanically related to carrots, but they receive very little attention by comparison. There are several reasons for this, but really no good excuse. When they're properly prepared, they're delicious, unique, sweet, and savory all at the same time. This is one of my favorite recipes for them, but of course it isn't quite as simple as it looks. There's a couple of tricks here to enhance the flavor and the texture that I'll show you, but it's nothing difficult. Anyone can make these. First step, of course, is to peel the parsnips. Now, how you slice it is up to you. Uh, nice thick slices are good, but you won't get very many of them out of one parsnip. So you can also cut them like this so you get even sliced pieces, or you can just have an assortment of different sizes. It's up to you. And I just decided to go with different sizes, but uh, if this was a restaurant, we'd probably pick this size and then cut up the larger ones into all being around this size so that uh, it would be even up. Into a liter of water, we add the salt. and the sugar. And of course, the first note. And bring this up to a boil. After three or four minutes, it comes up to a simmer like this. We're going to put the lid on it and begin counting the time. Now the key is during this time, you really want to have the spurs put to it. You really want it to be boiling like crazy in order for the time to be accurate. Now, take this out, put it in a bowl, let it come to room temperature, um, well at least let it rest for about half an hour and then we're going to put it in the freezer overnight. If you like my videos, look for my cookbook, now available through Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and other internet bookseller sites. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.